Once upon a time in a small Buddhist monastery nestled deep in the mountains, there lived a young monk named Koji. Koji had a gentle heart and a peaceful demeanor, but he struggled with anger that would occasionally consume him. Determined to find a way to overcome this inner turmoil, he sought the guidance of the monastery's wise old master, Master Shiro. Master Shiro was known for his wisdom and profound understanding of human emotions. Koji approached him one calm evening and said, Master Shiro, I humbly ask for your guidance. Anger takes hold of me at times, and I wish to free myself from its grip. Master Shiro smiled knowingly and nodded. Koji, my young disciple, I have a story to share with you, a story that may offer the insight you seek. Curiosity filled Koji's eyes as he sat attentively, ready to absorb the wisdom the master was about to impart. In a distant land there lived a great Zen master known as Ryanosuk, began Master Shiro. Ryanosuk was renowned for his tranquil spirit and his ability to remain undisturbed even in the face of the most trying situations. One day, a student of Ryanosuk named Takeshi approached him. Takeshi had a hot temper and was known to fly into fits of rage over the slightest provocation. Seeking guidance, Takeshi said, Master Ryanosuk, I want to be like you. I want to be free from anger. Please teach me your ways. Ryanosuk, with a serene smile, agreed to teach Takeshi. He handed him a single feather and said, Takeshi, take this feather and carry it with you at all times. Observe it closely and guard it well. If you can do so for one month without losing your temper, return to me. Perplexed but determined, Takeshi accepted the feather and left, committed to fulfilling the master's challenge. At first, he found it easy to keep his temper in check. The feather reminded him of his purpose and the desire to be free from anger. However, as the days passed, Takeshi encountered various situations that tested his resolve. One day, as Takeshi walked through a crowded marketplace, a merchant accidentally bumped into him causing him to drop the precious feather. Anger instantly welled up inside him, but he remembered the challenge and managed to suppress it. He picked up the feather and continued on his way. As the days turned into weeks, Takashi faced even greater trials. People insulted him, mistreated him, and tried to provoke him at every turn. Each time, he clung tightly to the feather, reminding himself of the master's teachings. Finally, the day of reckoning arrived. Takeshi returned to the Zen master, his face radiant with a newfound calmness. He handed the feather back to Ryanosuk, saying, Master, I have completed your challenge. For one whole month, I guarded the feather and controlled my anger. Ryanosuk smiled and nodded. Takeshi, you have done well. But now, I have one final task for you. Return to the marketplace where you drop the feather and retrace your steps. Takeshi followed his master's instructions, puzzled by the purpose of this task. As he reached the marketplace, he noticed something remarkable. Everywhere he looked, people were shouting, arguing, and displaying uncontrollable anger. The atmosphere was thick with tension and negativity. Takeshi realized the true meaning of his master's lesson. Through his month-long practice of guarding the feather, he had experienced the peace that came from mastering his inner anger. He had cultivated a state of serenity that allowed him to remain unaffected by the chaotic energy around him. Takashi returned to Ryanosuk, his eyes filled with gratitude and understanding. Master, I now see the wisdom in your teachings. By focusing on the feather and guarding my anger, I experienced a profound transformation within myself. The anger that once consumed me no longer holds power over me. I have discovered true inner peace. Ryanosuk nodded approvingly. Takeshi, you have understood the essence of this Zen lesson. The feather symbolized your anger, and by learning to guard it and observe it without allowing it to control you, you have attained a level of enlightenment. Remember, anger is a natural human emotion, but it is how we choose to respond to it that determines our inner state. Takeshi bowed deeply to his master, filled with a deep sense of gratitude and humility. He knew that his journey was not yet complete, 
for the path to enlightenment was an ongoing process. However, armed with the knowledge and experience gained from his encounter with the feather, he was determined to continue his spiritual growth. From that day forward, Takeshi became an inspiration to others in the monastery. He shared his story with fellow monks, teaching them the importance of self-awareness, self-control, and the ability to transform negative emotions into positive energy. Years later, Koji found himself sitting under the same tree where Master Shiro had shared the Zen story. He had followed in Takeshi's footsteps, dedicating himself to the practice of guarding his anger. The story had deeply resonated with him, and he had found solace and guidance within its lessons. As he reflected on his own journey, Koji realized that the path to inner peace required constant vigilance and self-reflection. The feather, a symbol of anger, reminded him to remain mindful of his emotions and to cultivate compassion and understanding towards himself and others. With a renewed sense of purpose, Koji returned to the monastery, determined to share the wisdom of the feather's lesson with his fellow monks and all those who sought to find peace within themselves. Through his teachings and example, he became a beacon of light, guiding others on their own transformative journeys. And so, the story of the feather's lesson lived on, spreading its timeless wisdom throughout the monastery and beyond. It served as a reminder that anger could be tamed, and inner peace could be attained through mindfulness, self-control, and a compassionate heart. And for all who listened and embraced its teachings, anger would hold no power, and a profound serenity would fill their souls for eternity. The story of The Feather's Lesson, a Zen story on anger, imparts valuable moral lessons that can be applied to our day-to-day -day lives. It teaches us the importance of self-awareness. By consciously recognizing and understanding our emotions, particularly anger, we can begin to address them effectively. This calls for regular reflection on our emotional state and a willingness to explore the underlying causes of our anger. The story emphasizes the need for self-control. Like Takeshi guarding the feather, we must learn to exercise restraint in the face of anger. Instead of reacting impulsively, we can choose to respond thoughtfully and calmly, considering the consequences of our words and actions. This requires patience and practice, as breaking the habit of immediate, angry reactions takes time. Another crucial lesson is the power of patience and perseverance. The story reminds us that personal growth and transformation are ongoing processes. Overcoming anger requires dedicated effort and a willingness to persist in our journey, even when faced with challenges. By remaining committed and determined, we can gradually cultivate inner peace. Moreover, the story encourages mindfulness as a means of managing anger. Through observing and accepting our anger without judgment, we can gain insight into its causes and manifestations. This mindfulness allows us to respond to anger with greater clarity and understanding, enabling us to choose more constructive and compassionate actions. The story highlights the importance of compassion and understanding, both towards ourselves and others. Recognizing that anger is a common human experience— we can cultivate empathy and respond to anger in others with compassion. By practicing kindness, patience, and forgiveness, we can foster healthier relationships and contribute to a more harmonious world. In our day-to-day -day lives, we can apply these lessons by setting aside time for self-reflection, practicing mindfulness through meditation or other techniques, and consciously choosing compassionate responses in situations that trigger anger. By integrating these practices into our routines, we develop a greater sense of self-awareness, emotional regulation, and empathy, leading to enhanced well-being and more harmonious interactions with others.